Hello, today I'm going to try to show you the advantages of using uh, task or global variables for states in, instead of directly using profiles for states. What I mean is, for example, I am currently working, so I could, for example, have a time a context, and if the time is between 9 a.m. and, for example, 6 p.m. that means I'm working okay so then I could create a new task and for example when I'm working the ringer volume the ringer volume could be set to 1 okay this works but see now the ringer volume is set to 1 this works but what I defend is it could work better and be much more flexible if instead of using ringer volume 1 directly here I would have I would set a variable for example a variable called work and set it to 1 and then remove this as an exit task I would simply clear the variable variable clear work now as you can see I have a variable called work um, that is not set because this profile was already uh, enabled when I created this so let me just um, run this and now I have a variable called work which tells me if I'm working on or not and this has several several advantages for example um, I can in, in a new task uh, let me just create a new pro a new project for this so let's see states and move this over here okay so in a new task for example I could simply uh, to know if I'm working I could oops I could um, for example do something if I'm working if work is set then do something like uh, I don't know whatever you want to do in a task uh, I'm working okay and if I wasn't working this part of the task wouldn't run so this this is useful because I can now query query all the states I want for example I could have another state uh, For example, if I'm near my it is now eleven oh five. If I'm near my home Wi-Fi network, which is called this, I would set a variable called home. To one and then like before add an exit task and simply clear the variable the home uh, home variable As you can see, I'm now near my Wi-Fi network, so I'm at home and I'm at work. And now, uh, like the work variable, I can easily see if I'm at home, home at work. And now, for an extra, um, for another advantage of this, I can now easily create a profile. Let me create another project here just to make it 
easier to differentiate. This project will be called, um, uh, I don't know, <laughs> test, a tutorial. You could put this in any one, but just, I like to keep my states, my states uh, in a different project, so this is more organized. And now, if I want to have a profile that uh, happens when I'm at work and when I'm at home, I can simply have a, a, a profile with this condition. When I'm at home and, and when I'm at work, do something. Do something like uh, toggle toggle the lights in my workplace, for example. Something like that. Working at home. Imagine I work at two places, so I can work at home, but I can also work at an office. I could simply create another state here that said, for example, if I was connected to a Wi-Fi network called Office or something like that, which I'm not right now, it could also set my work, my work variable to one, and then clear it. Okay, so now this profile will be enabled only if I was working at home and not if I was working at the office. I could also create another state for office, for example. I could create states for anything. And now the, the good part is if I wanted to create a, a profile that depended on several conditions, for example, like if I'm at work and I'm at home and the sun is up and uh, my wife is at home, I could add more and more conditions here, any number of them. So you can have an unlimited number of conditions using this, this system of using states, uh, using global variables for states. And another advantage is that I could now use the same uh, condition, the same uh, variables in different profiles. So I could create another profile with the same variables, for example. I could have another profile that used the same work, but um, but uh, use, imagine I created another one called uh, Sun is up. See, I with the same variable, I can create mul multiple profiles and reuse the same variable in all the places. Uh, now, imagine if I, I I discovered that this this condition is not very accurate so it is now I do not I do not always work from 9 till till 6 so maybe I want to change this condition for example I could change this to Wi-Fi connected and I know that I work when I'm connected to this other Wi-Fi network And then I can remove this one and nothing else needs to be changed. So every profile here con continues to work the same as before. No, no complications at all. I don't have to look up uh, what, what I'm doing in the task. I don't have to change anything. I just ne need to change the condition. And all the profiles here, imagine I have 10 profiles here, will continue to work. I don't have to go in, into each one and change anything. And 
last but not least, uh, you can now is see very clearly by looking at this bears this variable tab what state you're in so right now I'm I'm at work and I'm at home but if I had like a mil like a 10 other states I could easily see what state I'm in and this is much easier than using the profile active variable you know there's a a variable that you can check which is called profiles active which is not working right now for some reason <laughs> but uh, you usually can check which profiles are active but this makes it much easier. You don't have to remember the names of profiles. Okay, I, I suppose it's because it's not named. Something. Yeah, okay, so it has to have a name to appear here. So, as you can see, it's much more cum cumbersome to use this. In this case, you can simply use the, the variables and all becomes simpler. So to re to reiterate, what's easier of using what what becomes easier when using these variables? You can combine uh, an unlimited number of variables to make profiles with an unlimited number of conditions. You can reuse them. Uh, which means you can create uh, various profiles using the same variables so it's easier to reuse everything you can check the the state of these variables in tasks very easily you can create if conditions in tasks or just check check the states you can change the conditions like I showed you before from for example time condition to a Wi-Fi connected condition and everything will continue working the same way as before and finally you can very easy, easily read out what the current state is by looking at the variables instead of having to look at P active I hope uh, you enjoyed this one I hope this will make tasker life easier for you and see you bye bye